Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you how to get a report or export something that says, here are all the bills that I paid with a particular check. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, I have a bill payment. This bill payment is to ABC Corp for all these different bills. Imagine that you have a lot of bills um, and that you've sent the check, in check number one, two, three, and you want to send something to ABC Corp that says, hey, this $30, it's because of all these bills. You certainly could screenshot this, but that sounds pretty terrible. Um, there isn't a, like a good bill stub to issue. Let me show you what you can do. So now that you can see what it is, and I gave it a check number so it looked better. Um, what I'm going to recommend in, there's lots of ways to do lots of things within QuickBooks, is that you just go to reports on the left hand side of your screen and then find my report name. We know we want something to do with a bill. So I'm just going to search for the word bill. And then I can see here's all the stuff, uh, bill and applied payments, vendor check stub. This sounds exactly like what I want. I'm going to go ahead and select. The date of my make believe check is 401. If I had more checks in my sample file, you'd want to isolate the date so you could just see what you're looking for. This is exactly what I want. Um, what I could do is I can print this by clicking on the printer. I can print it to PDF or I can print it on paper and send it with the check. Or if I have a lot and it's easier for my provider, I can click on the paper with the arrow flying out of it and export this to Excel. If I had a bunch of bill payments that were showing up here, I needed to isolate it to just the one. What I could do is I can isolate the date. So date range is here. So 4124. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm not changing anything about the bills. I'm just saying like, only show me the payment that I made on 401. If I have multiple vendors, I can customize on the right. I can click on filter. I can pick my vendor. And instead of saying all the vendors, I can say just the vendor I want. When I isolate it for Adobe, nothing shows up. When I isolate for ABC Corp, only the payments to ABC Corp show up. So hopefully this is helpful for you. For some small businesses, you may never need to send something to the person receiving the check, but for other businesses you do, if you find yourself in the position where you do need to submit something with your check, this is just a real handy way of coming up with that. If you have any ideas, anything that I can help you with, any videos you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments below. If you'd like my help with anything, feel free to book one-on-one -on -one training with me. Thanks and have a great day.